In this video, we're going to share with you how you can access your designs inside of the campaigns widgets, specifically for social posts, which is free, or the paid ads, which you can pay money for and access your designs without having to download them. So I'm going to come to social post first, and I'm going to say, let's create a post for Wednesday. And this is going to pull up the actual write your posts. Then I get to this part where it says upload photo, choose from designs. Now I can always upload my own design. However, you had to download it and wait for it to download and that takes time. So to speed this up, if I choose from designs and browse my library, here's all of my designs that I can choose from. So I'm going to go ahead and just pick this one. Now I did this already um, practicing for this video. I will share if you get a little red bar that says requesting this to be usable. Just give it a second and then try it again. That's how I got this image to load. And I do prompt you to come here and hit the crop button because it tries to default it to a square. So make sure you change it to wide if you want to make sure this fits. And you'll also notice in my design, I did not put my office logo in the right hand corner like I normally do because it's going to do it for me automatically. So I'm going to crop that image. I've got my message up above. Now you can still do upload a video or add a link, but we're going to do upload a photo. You can add up to four photos, by the way. So if I wanted this to be a collage of different highlights that my website can do, I could have done that as well. Here's the office logo. Now the office logo right now is going to be in the actual darker color. So for this example, I actually want mine to be the white logo. So I've got all my logos downloaded and I want the red KW and white background for this design. And I can upload that right here and it's going to show up in my post. I can include the ownership statement if I want. I can preview this post while I'm doing this. So notice my original design did not have the office logo and there it is in the right hand corner. And I'm seeing what it's going to look like and I can schedule it to go out tomorrow. I can include an ownership statement. If you want a, a preview what that's going to look like, it kind of adds to the bottom of this. So if your state requires that, what a great way to make your design look great and let this do the legal part for you. So I don't need that in my state. I can schedule this post for tomorrow. I'm going to schedule it actually for a little earlier. I like to post around 8 to 9 a.m. Then I've got my page selected. I've got my preview here and this one's ready to go. So I'm actually going to post this schedule post and now my post is ready. Here's the preview of it and I'm actually able to schedule that for tomorrow. Now that's a scheduled post. I could do the same thing with choosing the design for the Facebook ads. So if I came to my paid ads and I created a new campaign and I chose social ad, this is a setup like you might have seen before. So let's say I am promoting my new website. I can just say new website. What am I trying to do? In this case, I'm probably just doing brand awareness to let people know about my new website. I'll choose Facebook, set up campaign, and this will take you to the actual editor. Now, in this case, I don't have to choose a listing if I don't want to. I can do the main copy, so I'm gonna use kind of the same concept. So I can also just say, uh, search by neighborhood. What's the description? Something like that. Then you get to the configure your media. So in this case, that's where I get to choose that image and select the media. And I can choose from a specific listing, add the images, and this is where you're going to find that choose from your design library. So I'm going to click choose from my design library. Now, I will say Facebook has a rule on having more than 20% of your image be text. So this will not run very well for an ad. However, in conjunction, I did a listing video the other day for advertising a new listing and I took that text of the major hard eyes and I shrunk it down so it's less than 20% of the image. This image would work and get approved but just for this example I'm going to choose the design. I have it here. You can upload your own image as well, add a video, but I love the fact that I don't have to download this anymore. And you can even click here to say Facebook ad text overlay checker. This will go check the image that you have and it will tell you if it's okay or not, but you have to upload the image. So these are the ratings, doesn't mean it's actually okay. So in this case, this tool will only work if you download the image, but if you wanna get a check, I love the fact that we built this in and you do have to have that image downloaded in order for it to check it until we build that in. So I've got my image here. I'm gonna preview and crop. This will look at the image. Again, I want it to be that wide angle so that it fits everything in. Again, I do not have the logo in the right hand corner because now the image adds that automatically. 
And here will be the ownership statement. There is the actual office logo. Again, in this marketing piece, the dark logo isn't gonna work, so I'm gonna remove it, browse my computer, and I always recommend that you have these ready to go in a folder easy to find so that I can actually just right there, now I've got my logo and the office logo added to this. So I save my media, configure this to be for the Facebook ad. Which page do I want this to go to? So I will have it go to my real estate team. Do you want it to be Facebook lead generation form? This form is automatically generated by Facebook that will actually capture their information. However, I just want them to explore my website. I don't need to force them to go see it. So I could say use site to just come learn more, or I can click this button to have them actually sign up to get access to my website to actually allow them to search by neighborhood. So I'm gonna say here, what's the destination? jteamfl.com. I'm gonna target a custom audience. I'll actually do it in my area. I am good with 20 miles. I can add some expert targeting. So what I find is typically people are looking on Zillow, Trulia, realtor.com. There's other things in here, but my focus is if I'm targeting people that are looking at homes online and want to have the new ability to search by neighborhood, this would be a great way to entice them to get them off of Zillow, Trulia, or Realtor.com if they already like those pages on Facebook. So I save it. I could choose my budget. And if I like how this looks, it's ready to go. I just click here to publish the campaign and it's ready to go. Now, that's just an example of how to do it. The big focus is configuring the actual media, coming here to your images, and actually choosing an image from your design library is the big focus we wanted to show today. I can add this one as well, major hard eyes, preview and crop, set image, and just like that, I've now got a, a Facebook ad that's gonna have multiple images here, telling people to search by neighborhood, major hard eyes, just a fun way you could create an ad around this. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a like. Leave us a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. And as always, follow me on YouTube or Kitty Connect today.